it could be a trip, it could be going to live on the road, but you need to decide to, to put this down and it's a very common thing. You just, there has to be a point and it, a lot of times it's a trigger. It's uh, you know, where you're working or, you know, a, a, a family member dies or something. You just decide, you know what, I, yeah. I got only so many days left on this earth yeah. and I need to use them properly. We're here with Brad, Adventure Brad, I should say. We just met like a couple days ago. I was camped over here, and we're gonna check out his F250 7.3 liter. It's a 94, it's the IDI, so it's the mechanical injected turbo diesel four. Mm -hmm. um, I specifically chose this truck because it's a dependable, hardy truck. I've always liked the way they look, and I could fix it on the side of the road. So that's that was a big thing to me. The least amount of electronics, computer needed, all that sort of thing was key. Uh, it, the truck's pretty box stock. It's got a limited slip in the back. It's obviously four-wheel drive. Um, there's a receiver hitch on the front that's handy for one. You ever got to move a trailer into somewhere, but normally there's a motorcycle that lives on the front of this, a little TW200. Um, so that's probably predominantly what that's there for. I don't feel the need to have like this big, gnarly, super duper lift and ride. I like to stay low and cognito, especially to kind of stay with the work truck feel. So I just have a good all-terrain tire. It takes me where I want to go. I have an air compressor to air down if I need to, so that's real handy. I had this big old giant slide-in camper and it was cumbersome and there was a, you know, everywhere I went, you know, it sticks out this far and it's this far out in bushes and, you know, I'm just this one guy trying to travel and keep it to the minimum and all that and this is a lot less to get rock around in the wind, it's lost less to go through parking lots with, and the biggest thing to me is it doesn't look like this overland rig. And I know eventually it's gonna be, but for right now I could, you know, park by a set of railroad tracks and it kind of looks like maybe I'm an employee just doing some work or, you know, I stop somewhere, everyone, it doesn't scream that, you know, there's goodies and toys and cameras and laptops in there, just like, oh, there's some tools and stuff like that. Um, I like that incognito lower profile feel to it. Um, yeah. But there's there's definitely compromises. Yeah, but don't be fooled, right? You got tons of toys in this thing. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> uh, it's uh, like one of those little Russian nesting dolls. It just went with stuff that just comes right out of it. Um, so. The other big thing that people notice about the truck, I call my landing gear, but they're just uh, a set of RV stabilizers that would go into an RV to stabilize it. And what I did is I cut the ends of them off, and so it slides in the receiver, hits the corner there. So I could just undo the ratchet on the other side, slide it out, slide it in, ratchet it back down, and I'm on the road. And it makes all the difference. I, I can't tell it's windy unless I look outside and, you know, there's a bush or I hear the windsock flapping. You get in and out of it, there's no noise. It's, I really, this is like, yeah, yeah. awesomeness right here. I really enjoy these guys. Paramotor fuel station, oil, and propane, and they use the transfer pump with just both fittings on it to pump fuel into the paramotor up pretty good there yeah nice garage yeah it works as a nice step too that is my garage i like really like the step system yeah no yeah. It, it works out pretty handy yeah sweet and then the double doors and then yeah you had the hatches on each side too so you could really get this thing opened up yeah, which is I, cool there's these little these are the coolest thing ever uh they're particle pro or master grips or pro grip or something but it's just a tie down you pull on and he yanks you don't have to worry about flipped webbing or anything oh, wow. for here it's just great because i could open this open here shut the door it's all sealed up looks like a work truck but when i open it up in the wind and stuff i can just flip it out in two Hold seconds and now there. i'm not yeah. worrying about anything you know flapping and flipping and you know that sort of thing yeah, always, always something you need, the door security, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like, obviously this is like we went over my all my oils and uh, uh, fuel and stuff for the paramotor and the inside. Start out with a fridge. I, having a freezer fridge, it, well, I, you could operate this as a freezer fridge. It's not a dual unit, but it's just so nice to build a... Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a cheese stick. <laughs> wait, it's not dripping wet. <laughs> My meat's not swimming. My eggs aren't swimming. Oh, look, I got chilled fresh water right here. Oh, is that a Brita? So, yeah, it's a Brita. Wow. So, you know, it's it's nice to not have this giant mess going on when you're, you know, I love this thing. You know, they're not cheap, 
but they are beautiful. And when you're on the road or even extended for more than a weekend or two or more than a weekend, ice sucks. If you're going to actually spend a week on the road or something you need, this yeah, is a, definitely. a big thing. Well, you spent more than a week, right? Uh, yeah, I'm often on the road for months and months at a time. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's nice to be able to just go fill it up with groceries, just go head out. And the way I'm set up right now, I could comfortably sit out for two weeks and not really even have to worry about stuff, not worry about water. The solar takes care of plenty. I could run the laptop and watch videos and all that sort of thing. So I, I don't have to worry about it. Two weeks is plenty enough for me. It's kind of nice to go back in and talk to somebody because yeah. the dog don't ever, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just get, you know, you get a little lonesome for people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, while we're here, we might as well show it. I have, this is my shower. Cool. Um, it just comes out here, stores here. Up on the door is the latch for it. So I could just, you know, most of the time I like swing one. these part part of the way in with the straps, put a bungee between them, and I could shower. Mm -hmm. And if there's people around, I could hang a tarp across the bungee, and now I have this as my shower room, and nobody, you know, it's my own private spot. And you got a nice, uh, is this for Mike or what kind of, like, really nice yeah, it's, countertop? It's actually, it's a countertop for a house. And uh, one of the key things that I really wanted with this rig was... Uh, I wanted somewhere that I could come in, cook food out of the weather, I could prepare something, I could wash dishes, I could wash, you know, veggies and that sort of thing, and it not be in the dirt, and, you know, I just hate that splashing, it's splashing on your feet, and it's just, I like having a sink, so that was a big thing to me, and a table. Um, I, I do some computer work, I like to tinker with things, it's just nice to have space to, yeah. you know, shuffle and move and do. Yeah. Um, I'm a shorter guy and this is just a shorter top, so I don't have a lot of room to stand up in here. So, you know, obviously I'm down on my hands and knees. It's a, it's a one person unit, it's not a two person unit. But I have a six foot bed and at five eight, that's plenty of room for me. And the dog sleeps down on the floor. Awesome. It, it's just kind of neat to be able to have a spot that you could get out of the weather, you could cook food in. I don't have an installed stove. Um, I just use a, it's actually out burning my bacon right now. Uh, a stove that I just put on top of the fridge. And I'll boil water, I'll cook eggs, I'll cook some basic stuff that's not gonna splatter or make a mess. And because the vent's right above it, I don't have an issue, you know, steam and smoke and all that thing. I just kind of let it go out. When weather is good, let's cook outside. 315 watts of solar on the roof. I have two 100 amp hour batteries, uh, MPP controller or whatever, a 40 amp controller, 45 quart fridge, I have 26 gallons of fresh water that's up under here, um, it's under the front corner in the tank or whatever, uh, pump, it's just, just cold water and it just supplies to the sink here, my soap, and the, the shower over there, um, I fill the dog's water bowl off the shower which is kind of convenient. Um, and then I have a diesel heater. And it's a, one of those Chinese copies of the way cool Weebus so guys like, you know, that the mob header has. But it's, I love the thing. Besides last night when it was down into the teens and it decided to, the fuel pump decided that it was just about worth that. Yeah. So in the teens last night with the wind blowing, I had to tear into it and change my fuel pump out. But regardless, it maintains 70, 75 degrees in here, no problem when it's down into the teens and, you know, I could crack the bin over the top, cook food, the dog's happy, I'm in a t-shirt and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Some bacon. Wow, look at that. The side hatch is very cool. Gives us a good look inside as well. Yeah, when the wind's not blowing and the weather's great. The view is incredible from here. Yeah. That's not a bad view either, the paramotor. Yeah, no, but the one wheel for uh, a campground cruiser is really kind of nice because it, you know, it digs down the dirt well pretty well. With like a 20 mile range, you know camp for weeks and screw around and that sort of thing. Yeah. Woo! We do burnouts. Yeah. It's awesome. It, it, it's a bunch of fun. It, they're nice. But the cool accessory that, you know, <laughs> everyone's excited about it just makes me happier than I'll get out. Paramotor. Yeah, this is 
sight to see. So some people call him a butt fan or uh, just a crazy person transport device, <laughs> pack, whatever. But uh, this is a mini plane with a top 80 motor on it. Yeah, this is some real deal stuff. Carbon fiber blade. Yeah, it's a two-piece prop. Um, I think it only weighs like 800 grams total. It's super lightweight. Allows it to rev real quick. Uh, the harness that you fly in is a soft harness. The best way I can describe this is you're hanging in a swing set. You, you're, you have your lines hooked onto here and here. Both of these arms move. Your seat board moves. So every little bit that that wing does and moves and feel, you feel right in the seat of your pants. That's right where it comes from. Um, it's pretty basic stuff. I try to keep it to the minimal. Uh, radio for communication with aircraft in the ground. I'm watching. Cell phone, temperature gauge, tachometer. Uh, these lines are called speed bar lines, which hooks down to my speed bar here. I could step on this to control the angle of attack of my wing. These are all those wonderful straps that keep me from falling out of the thing. It's kind of like amusement park ride. I feel like Disneyland every time I'm clipping in and getting all ready to go flying. <laughs> uh, over on the side here is a reserve parachute. Uh, this is a last case resort. If something goes wrong with my main wing that I'm flying and I don't have the altitude, or there's other issues going on and I can't recover and I can't get that wing back reinflated and flying again, I throw this laundry out and hopefully it takes me for a nice smooth ride down to the ground. Um, now, like I said, this is the thing that everyone focuses on. This is the paramotor and it is dang cool, but it's only part of it. Uh, we fly from a parachute, but it's not a parachute, it's a flying wing. So you gotta think of that and you, I'm sure you're looking at shots of it right now, but it's a giant wing that goes above me all the lines come down and hook into here and this is just the propulsion device all packed down in there that's cool yeah one wheel paramotor stores up dang quick and, you know, another two minutes here i'm on the road dude that is awesome yeah that was a quick like as quick a tear down as me and you had to pack that thing up that's awesome a lot of compromises in this rig but also i I really like what I came away with. Oh, cool. Well, Brad, thanks so much for showing us your rig. Be sure to go check out Adventure Brad, Adventure underscore Brad at YouTube and Instagram. Might have a little wind noise there, but uh, yeah, yeah. No, no underscore on the YouTube, just on the Insta. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys follow along, I, I'm always up to something fun. Life's an adventure. Live it up. Don't just guys watching it but I'd rather see you out here on the trail with us <laughs> great words we'll end on that thanks for watching Thank you.